press reset, press Q, day zero to start basic, reserve some space so we can run the trick functions. Okay, now I'm going to load my sample program. Okay, and this is from Creative Computing, um, but it has a few uh, additions that allows it to load the trick functions from basic and this should print out a sine wave of the creative uh, okay and this line here 75 enables the trick functions uh, in the line above it the ghost sub is actually a basic routine just to read in the data and then pokes it into memory um, once you've actually loaded that into memory, you no longer need to run that subroutine again, and it can be removed to free up space. And this is just a simple little subroutine that I'm using to load the trick functions. And now you can see the data. And I took that information from the uh, technical notes and I converted the hex into just a little uh, routine for basic and you can see the data it's all in decimal and it's just being poked into the appropriate addresses starting at e c7 okay you can also verify uh, that it's loaded correctly by jumping back into the monitor and just doing a, a v e c7 comma ff and it should list the um, data and the checksum should be 9476 just to confirm that it's been loaded correctly okay and it's just about finished loading and then we're just going to quickly run this little routine and we have basic loaded with our trick functions okay yeah i'm really enjoying the sim one it's a beautiful beautiful board a single board computer that was designed for prototyping and as a trainer and to demonstrate what the 60502 processor could do and it's based on the kim one but it's got some really nice extensions the additional memory the ability to interface more devices quite easily okay we're just going to run that and if we've got the code loaded properly and our trick functions okay and we've got an error okay let's see what's going on here that's more likely a typo so let's just go back and see what we've done wrong okay that looks okay maybe we haven't loaded the basic trick functions let's try that again okay let's just poke that properly uh, maybe we didn't poke it ah okay <coughs> this is a perfect example of uh, testing your code first what we haven't done we haven't run the subroutine okay and now it's running the subroutine which has loaded the uh, trick functions into memory and now we need to enable it so that's just a matter of two pokes Okay, and now let's run this again. And now we have the trick functions loaded into memory. Isn't that brilliant? Okay, I'm going to look at my code and see if there's a simple way that I can test. Maybe I can test that I've poked. Oh, and just read that back using a peek. I might do that just to make sure that I actually have loaded the trig functions into memory. Um, I could try reading it back and checking the checksum, um, but that's actually working quite well. Let's just jump out and I'll just show you what it's actually loaded into memory. 
Okay, so we're going to just view what it's loaded in seven to F F. And the checksum is correct. And you can find all this information in the technical notes. Okay, that looks absolutely marvelous. Now, to warm start basic, it's G0. And if we do that, all our code should still be there. Okay, let's just list our program again. And we've done a warm start of basic on the monitor. Okay, let's just run that again, just to make sure our trick functions are still in memory. And that actually works. Isn't that absolutely marvelous? Okay, well, I hope you found that of some use if you have a Sim 1 and you're running the basic ROMs. And yeah, now you're aware that you need to load the trick functions into memory because they're not actually part of the basic ROMs to save memory. Okay, but it's very simple to implement either some basic code or to do a paper tape load or to load the hex, whatever you prefer, but I actually like having it as a piece of basic. So I can include it in my code and then I can just delete it when I'm not using it. Um, yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. Okay. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you next time. Okay, take care all. Bye.